Havoc were in the workshop playing with our black Land Rover Defender 90. Now it looks a bit like, if you squint, the James Bond Land Rover Defender 90. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's black. We've done the black kit at the front. We've even gone to the effort of putting that, I and mean, all the videos for doing all this is on our channel. We've even put the V8 exhaust at the back. We haven't got a number plate, we haven't got a James Bond number plate, but we think it looks a bit like a James Bond. So we are having a play with our Gap IID G4 tool, generation four. And it's plugged in down there. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. We've plugged it into the ODB2 port. And we are having a play with the software. So let me, oh, let me get comfy, right, Alicia. Right, so we have had a play, right? And people have asked, how do you do it? Now, I'm not sure where we stand legally on this. Now, obviously, the James Bond is a copyright. So we are just going to show you how to change what Land Rover call your racing sub-brand using the IID tool. Now, we haven't done this before, have we? So, right, when you're using the IID tool, make sure your battery is fully charged because we're going to rewrite the software and it, you can get in a pickle if you've got a flat battery. We've got the battery charger on. He's been charging overnight. We're all good. Right, so we are going to turn the ignition on and then we are going to open the phone app. But I've got to close it first. Hold on. Right, so there we go. We got onto the gap diagnostics and then we search for the tool and it's going to find the tool, hopefully, and it's going to load all the data. You got a good screen view there, Alicia? Yeah. Yeah, let me know if you get a reflection. Okay, now with the IID tool, we can go into one of the menus here. It's called car configuration. Let's go on the car configuration and it's going to load the CCF files. So the CCF files are the car configuration files. And this tells the car what it is. It tells it how many doors it's got, what engine it's got. And this is set at the factory, okay? Now, we can go to the complete list, okay? Now, I created those little. And you can search and it's the... You can search racing sub-brand we're looking for. So tell me when we see racing sub-brand. Has it come out yet? Uh, yeah. Racing sub-brand. And this is EUCV205, okay? And you can click into this. And at the moment, the current setting is it's a mainstream vehicle. We like mainstream. Okay. But you can go to, you can select not supported. Now, interestingly, that as I scroll through these, only the green one is the original one. So you can look through without being in danger of forgetting what your car was set to. You can always sort of go no change anyway. So we're mainstream. We could have a Jaguar R. We could have a Ford STDCI, which is weird. We could have Jaguar RS, Jaguar R type. We could have Range Rover RS. We could have Jaguar sub brand. We could have the S-V-O-L-E, limited edition, maybe. S-V-A, special vehicles. S-V-X, that would be interesting. Um, S-V-A, I wonder what the S-V-X is, because I think, I don't think they did a, oh, I thought the S-V-X was an old Land Rover. We might try some of these. Let's, right, but the one that everyone sort of gets excited about is this limited edition 007. So let's see if the IID tool can do this. Right, so we are going to press apply. Okay. All right, and that is done, and that is done. Now, we are going to hit Upload Changes. Now, this is where we could mash our vehicle. All right, Upload Changes. So, it says, are you sure you're not upload these changes? So, you want to go from mainstream vehicle to the new setting of LTD007. So, we are going to go, yes, okay. Right, and it says, ignition will return on automatically after completion. Right, now, this is the scary bit now. And it says, waiting for completion message and keep cool connected all time. Also, make sure you've got a reasonable battery life. How much battery life have I got there left, Alicia? 31. 31. We'll be all right. Right. So it's notice it's checking vehicle voltage. So it's checking you've got a good battery. It tries to protect you from yourself. So it's waiting for ECU initialization. Now you'll notice that all the screens will start doing weird stuff and it's like demons has taken over your car and it's all very scary. So it's doing some initialization. Now when we did the screen size update on the stick, we did have to lock and unlock the car and do a thing. So it's switching the ignition off. It's all very scary. Waiting at ECU, switching ignition on. Right. 
it's doing some learning, it's waiting for ECU initialization. So obviously it's had to change the values in some memory somewhere and then it's got to like reflash itself so that it knows. I don't even know, I guess it's just the boot up screen that changes. Now again, we're not condoning this as a modification and when you're modifying your vehicle, you've got all sorts of implications on warranty and everything. We are just showing you and testing whether it can be done or not. So it's learning the soddle, whatever the soddle is. All right, it's waiting for the ECU initialization. Oh, it's proper going through it all, isn't it? Yeah. It's doing a whole load of, right then. We can speed this up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Oh, no, it's, it's proper learning loads of stuff. Okay, it's got to do that one again. Right, we'll let it do. Three, two, one. Oh, is it? Oh, it's got that to go. Well, that's that one going. A long one at the end. All right, it's clearing its faults. Will this work? All right, it's succeeded. It thinks it's happy. Continue. All right, so the upload is complete. All right, so that's taking us back to the home screen. So let's turn the car off. All right, now I guess if we've done it, it should come up with the. It should come up with the home screen, but. You see, it hasn't gone to sleep yet, so I think we might have to put the car to sleep, lock it, let it go to sleep and start. Because if I start it now, no, you see, because it hasn't properly put it... Oh, because I think the Land Rover logo should go. Um, let's try doing a PIVI reset. Let's press and hold this and reboot the PIVI. I think it's about 40 seconds or something you've got to hold it for to reboot it for. Keep holding. There you go. Right, and I think you can let go then. Right, and that's come back on. But that's come back on as Land Rover. So we haven't seen any 007. There's no 007 on that screen, is there? No. No. So I think, right, let's try. Let's not give up. Right, let's lock the car. Right, double lock the car. Make sure the mirrors and everything goes in. Right. Go and have a cup of tea, and we'll come back in five minutes. Right, so as it worked, let's have a look. Open up the car, get in. Have we got the Land Rover boot up screen? Or would we get the James Bond? I didn't see. I didn't see. Maybe not. Maybe it's that. Okay, I'm going to unplug the thing. I'm going to go home tonight and let's see what it does in the morning. Next morning. And here we go. Alicia's got in. What logo have we got on the screen, Alicia? Is it going to boot up with the James Bond or is it a fail? Doesn't look like it, does it? No. No. I'm afraid it didn't even come up with a Land Rover logo, does it? We've got nothing there. So I don't think that works. So we're going to check with the guys at Gap ID. What do we need to do to get some of these functions working? You never guess what's just happened. We're just coming here to do something else. And look what's happened. We've got Defender 007. Obviously, this is just a trial. We're not going to leave it on there full time, are we? Mm. No, no. Have we got any other graphics come up on the main screen? No, it's only on that one. Look at that. Whoa. Anyway, so why did it work? Have we got any idea, let's see. No. Maybe it just needs to go to sleep a couple of times. Think about it. Process is now identifying as a James Bond defender. And, and it's all right. So I don't know quite what happened. But there you go. It does sort of work. Thumbs up.